people of God, in this Christmas season, let it be our duty and delight to hear once more as a message of the angels to go to Bethlehem and see the Son of God lying in the manger. Let us hear and hear the Holy Scripture. The story of God's loving purpose from the time of our rebellion against him until a glorious redemption brought to us by his only child, Jesus. And let us make this place cloud with a chaos of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and justice on earth, for the unity and mission of the church for which he died, and especially for his church in our country and in this city, Lagos. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children, as well as those who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, let us remember before God his pure and lonely mother, and that all modest and that all modest which no one can number, whose hope was in the world made flesh, I was whom in Jesus, we are one forevermore. And now, to sum up all these petitions, let us pray in the words which Christ himself has taught us. The Lord be with you. Please let us kneel to pray. As our Savior taught us, so we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth, as it is, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from him. For thine is the kingdom, so I part the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The Almighty God bless us with his grace. Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. As we continue to move on, in the remaining days of this year, may he watch over us. May he guide and guard us. May he prevent us from perils and dangers that are bound in our world today. May his light be seen in our lives. May he hand over to us those things that we are still expecting of him. And may he give us the fullness of his Holy Spirit on a daily basis. And to the fellowship of the citizens above. May the King of Angels bring us all. Amen. You may be seated.
before. Now the serpent was not cunning that any beast or the field which the Lord had made. And he said to the woman, As God indeed said, You shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, not eat of it, nor shall you touch it, lest you die. Then the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. This is the word of God.
God promised to Abraham. Then the king of the place of which God had told him. And Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order. He bound Isaac, his son, and laid him on the altar upon the wood. And Abraham stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord came to him from heaven and said, Abraham, Abraham, and so he answered, Here am I. And said, Do not lay your hand on the lad or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham lifted his eyes and looked. And there behind him was a ram, caught in a tick set by his horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it for a burnt offering instead of his son. And Abraham called the name of the place, the place the Lord will provide, for he said to this day, and the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. Then the angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time out of heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your only son, blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sun which is on the seashore. And your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. And in your seed, all nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. 
the prophecy of the Messiah's birth. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. This is the word of God. of the Messiah's kingdom of peace. There shall come forth a road from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall go out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. His delight is in the fear of the Lord, and he shall not judge by the sight of his eyes, nor decide by the hearing of his ears. But with righteousness, he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the make of the earth. He shall strike the earth and with the road of his mouth, and with the birds of his lips, he shall slay the wicked. 
Righteousness shall be the bread, the blood of his iron, and faithfulness the blood of his waste. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, the leper shall lie down with the young goat, the calf and the young lion and the flatten together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall gaze, their young goats shall lie down together, and the lion shall yield still like the ox. The, uh, the nursing child shall play by the cobra's oars, and the winged child shall put his hand in the viper's den. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the water cover the sea. This is the word of the Lord. The seed of faith shall be collected. The seed of faith is very important for us to be part of. We need to cling to it because it serves to a dual purpose. One is for us to expand the kingdom of God within our diocese by planting new churches, by assisting the calling parishes. Also, we assist poor and needy dioceses. And two, it is a seed you are sowing into your future, to the future of your children. So let us take it very seriously, and the Lord is going to bless us even as we give in the name of Jesus.
the Annunciation to Mary. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. It will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father, David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be? Since I do not know a man. And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest we overshadow you. Therefore, also, that only one who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. And the angel, angel departed from her. This is the word of the Lord.
the birth of Emmanuel. Now, the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man, and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. But while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to your Mary your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. This is the word of the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. I didn't hear you. Praise ye the Lord. I want to welcome us to church today and to wish us Merry Christmas and a happy, prosperous, and victorious year 2022 in advance in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to also express my deepest appreciation to all of you as individuals, as families, as um, service groups, societies, and fellowships for all the God has been using you to do in this place to appreciate the sacrifice you continue to make and your contributions in diverse ways to the growth of our church. I praise the God we continue to replenish you, reward you, and prosper you in the name of Jesus Christ. I would like to acknowledge the presence of those who probably are worshiping with us for the first time today. If you're one of them, please can you just wave your hand so I can recognize you and then welcome you to our midst. Now, all about the celebrants of this week, from today till um, Saturday, if you're one of those who celebrates birthday in the course of this week can you please wave your hand birthday celebrants oh thank you ma let the congregation please rise shall we please rise and then take the birthday song you many happy returns of the day. Long life and prosperity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We can do better. Praise the Lord. Let us celebrate Christ with a round of applause. Please be seated. Hearty congratulations to all of them. We pray that those prayers we have offered in our soul shall be confirmed in their lives in Jesus' name. Next Sunday, we are going to have a service of praise and aggressive prayers at 10 o'clock service. It's the last Sunday of the year, and I believe we must sing praises to God, dance before him, 
express gratitude to him for all that he has done for us and for all that he has meant to us and also pray as we prepare to enter into a new year. Let us have this in mind as we prepare for next Sunday. We once again congratulate the newly appointed directors that will serve on the board of St. Paul's Church Development Company. And please let us continue to pray for them. Today is Advent ordination in our diocese and it's starting at noon. We may be leaving now, and that's why I'm giving my notices now. So we pray for our diocesan, an archbishop, a missioner, who will be mobilizing the other the clergy of the diocese to lay hands on these people who will be presiding over this service and pray that the ministries of those ones shall be successful in the name of Jesus Christ. A number of our boys in the choir will be going as well as directed by His Grace the Diocesan. St. Paul School All Students Meeting we hold after this service. COVID-19 has not gone. It has now come with another variant called Omicron. So let us continue to take all the necessary precautions. I want to appreciate all the families that have done their harvest and appeal to those who are here to do so to please do it. It is worth doing because God has been good to us. It's by his grace and mercy that we are not consumed. Let us appear before him and let us appreciate it. Confirmation 2022, we are still hopeful that this is going to take place in the first quarter of next year. Next year, on the last Sunday of January, we are going to have a remembrance service for all our people who had worked and rested and are still resting in the Lord. All those who have since died in this church, we want to remember them. We are combining this with our patronal festival on the last Sunday of January next year. The PCC will not be meeting again today because of the various activities that we have. We are meeting next Sunday and a decision will be taken about how much will be paid for each person to be remembered because we are coming up with a very bulky program and we'll let you know by God's grace. We will begin to collect those names and pictures as soon as we enter the new year. Always arrive ahead of the 10 o'clock service, arrive at 9 to attend the weekly Bible study. There is no way we can grow without getting rooted in the Word of God. It's very, very important. A job building project I want to appreciate all those who have given towards that project and to appeal to those who are here to do so to please identify with this project. And those who have done so can still do more. I want to apologize for the state of the church where uh, air conditioners are not working. And the chairman of maintenance committee, Mr. Jair Binisi, has just given me his word that they are going to ensure that all of them are back to use latest by the first day of January. They've been working on the person that will do it. They are yet to make a decision but they told me that they are going to make a decision today so that a person can begin work in the course of this week. I'm aware that this place is stuffy. They were going to put it behind us very, very soon. I want to appreciate all those who are joining us virtually. We sincerely appreciate your being present with us. And we pray God will honor you, God will answer your prayers and accept your worship. Please be involved also financially. We have to run the church, we have to sustain the church, and we have to grow the church. 
we are very grateful to all of you. We have all our bank details on the screen so that you can key into it. The St. Paul's house, the process is still on. They are here to conclude. They are still interviewing all those who have turned in their proposals. And when a decision is taken firmly, I will let you know by the grace of God. We want to say that we appreciate all of you and we love you so dearly and we're praying for you. And our church will continue to grow by leaps and bounds in the name of Jesus. Your professionals fellowship will have their inaugural meeting immediately after this service. We wish you the best in the new week and pray that the presence of God will continue to abide with you. Uh, Reverend Okinile and Reverend Akiyemi are going to be with you to the end of this service. And uh, Reverend Amis Okinile have equally asked me to appreciate all of you for your answer of fellowship and love when they buried their mother recently. And they said, I should pray for you that you will all enjoy long life and good health. And you also outlive your old parents in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want to thank God for Prince Tola Shotinwa, who was seen for a long time and today is coming to church to thank God for God's mercy and goodness in his life and family and also do his family harvest. That victory is a permanent one in Jesus' name. Once again, we appreciate all the service groups for what you are doing and pray you will not labor in vain in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. We we'll continue with our cow songs and lessons.
Let's be safe back. The, the shepherd visit. Now there were in the same country shepherds living out in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were greatly afraid. Then the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be the sign to you. You'll find a babe wrapped in a swollen clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. So it was, when the angel had gone away from them into heaven, and the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has come to pass, which the Lord has made, to us, made known to us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. Now when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all those who heard it marveled at those things which were told to them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her hearts. Then the shepherd returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told to them. This is the word of the Lord.
adoration of the Magi. Now after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he who has been born, king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. So they said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for to us it is written by the prophets, but you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you shall come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, determined from them what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the young child, and when you have found him, bring back word to me, that I may come and worship him also. When they had the king, they departed, and behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they had, and when they had come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented gifts to him, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then, being divinely warned in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. This is the word of the Lord.
Peace to Paris. Please sit back. <laughs> St. John unfolds the great mystery of the incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. It was in the beginning with God, all things were made through Him. And without Him, let us please rise. And without him, nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. It was, it was not the light, but was seen to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which gives light to every man coming into the world. It was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. This is the word of the Lord.
us pray. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for the gift of life to witness yet another Sunday in the land of the living. Lord, we pray that as we have come to your house of worship to give thanks, to praise, and to make requisition of you, Lord, you will attend to us in the name of Jesus. We want to listen to your word about this time. Lord, we pray you will speak to us in the name of Jesus. You will touch us where it ought in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's be seated. Today we are looking at a team that says the miracle of his birth. The miracle of his birth. And the text is taken from Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 and verse 6 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. A miracle is an event that could not be described by human understanding. It is a happening that with human mind or art, we cannot conceive. We can only receive it, but how it happens, no one can tell. It happens to meet needs, to relieve anxiety, to relieve us of our worries. Miracle is something that happens to better the lot of the receiver. And most unlike magic, miracle has a purpose. Magic is for entertainment, but miracle has definite purpose in the life of the receivers. The birth of Christ, as we know, has so much influenced mankind through history, even to the present time. The, the miracle of the birth cannot be overemphasized in any way. It touches all and sundry. The miracle of his birth has imparted all aspects of human life. Name it religion, education, law and constitution, medical practices, and so many facets of human life. The birth of Christ has so much imparted us. The impact is incredible. The first thing there, a promise made hundreds of years ago come to fulfillment. Another thing, a, badge, a virgin that has not known any man gave birth to a child. Because that it was given in that Isaiah that a son will be born. And the son was given by God. And the text now, as taken from the third reading of today, is a prophecy from the Old Testament to put smile on the face of the Jews considering their plight at that time. If you go through the book of Isaiah chapter 6, we were told that some nations, some kingdoms gathered against the Jews, the Israel of that time. And word was sent from the prophet to the king and it was said in that verse, Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 14, says, 
Therefore, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. A sign. Such as we have it now. When nobody knows what will happen the next moment. Sometimes ago we were heading, we, are, we, had, we had of uh, COVID-19. Later we have of variants, Delta. Now Omicron is the order of the day. Nobody knows what will happen next. But in that verse 17, verse 14, sorry, of Isaiah chapter 7, says, himself shall give you a sign and bringing us to the fullness of the initial created Adam so that we can fellowship with God as God has proposed it from the beginning. The text tells us that he is wonderful and mighty at the same time, counseling mankind to the realization of the knowledge of God. He served justice to those who were denied. In the course of his ministry, he set the captives free and he brought captivity to captives. He gave life to the dead in spirit and his reign, the Bible said, shall have no end. In the fifth reading, that was a message to Mary. It was a message of hope because in that message, hope was given to mankind through Mary. And it was told to Mary that she is blessed and that she is favored among all people around them. She was selected to give birth to our Lord Jesus Christ. In the same vein today, I'm bringing us a message of hope because the miracle of his birth is still happening around us. It is still evident as we speak. And bringing us a message of favor and of goodness. This message to Mary marked the reintroduction of the Holy Spirit of God into the affairs of man. If you are a Bible student, you will see, you notice that from the Old Testament to the New Testament, there was a period of darkness. And the Bible called that period a period where there was no revelation. But in the New Testament, the first mention of the Holy Spirit is when it was sent to Mary. And ever since, the Holy Spirit has been relevant in the affairs of men. The message tells of a king that is coming to take over the throne of David, his father to bring peace to the world and in the heart of mankind, of all true believers. Quickly, I don't want to waste much of it because the vicar said I should spend 10 minutes, so let me just highlight the miracles of his birth as we know it today. The first one I have here is that we are no more condemned. You see, if you listen to the first reading, the fall of man, after the fall of man, God made some pronunciation, some pronouncement, sorry. He made some pronouncement. Rather, he said, cause is the land, cause is the serpent, cause is the woman, and cause is the man. But the miracle of his birth tells us, or brings to us, or affords us that grace that we are no more condemned. Such as we have in Galatians chapter 3, verses 13 and 14. Let me just paraphrase it from here. It says, Christ has redeemed us from the course of law. And it further to say that the blessings of Abraham might come to us. Also in Romans chapter 8, verse 1, it says, There is now therefore no condemnation to whom? To us believers. The second thing, the second miracle that as we know it today is that we are all new creatures with God. We are what? We are all new creatures. No more sin. No more limitation. You know before it was said of man that from your sweat you shall eat. Abi, it was a result of this sin that sickness came into the world. But now we are not limited. 
In health, we are not limited. In financing, we are not limited. Because the Bible said they will provide for my needs according to his words. So he switches in glory. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17 says, If a man be in Christ, he is what? A new creature. The old things has what? Passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Another miracle is that we become citizenry of his kingdom. The gospel that was read by the Reverend Okenili in verse 14, or verse 12, says, For as many as believe in him, he gave the power to be what? Children of God. His birth has afforded us the grace to become children of his kingdom. And also, in Philippians chapter 3, verse 20, says, Our conversation is in heaven. We are also, we look for the Savior, Jesus Christ. Another miracle of his birth is that we have power over the wiles of the devil. That is to say, we are free from bondage. You know, I said earlier on, that he's coming to take the throne of his father, David, to seize power from the devil and his agents. So in other words, we children of the living God, we now have power over the rise of the devil. We are free from sickness, free from poverty, free from sorrow, and every other thing that may destabilize us. Another thing is, the, his birth gave us the grace to use his name. Because while he was living, before he, he was crucified, he said, whatever you ask in my name, I will give you. In John chapter 16, verse 23 and 24, it says, the sorrowful shall rejoice, and no one shall take away your joy. The Father says, ask anything in my name, and it shall be given unto you. Is that not a miracle? Whatever you ask, even Matthew 7, 7 tells us, ask, and it shall be given. Knock, the door shall be opened unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Is that not a miracle? It is indeed a miracle. And the miracle we have here, that's number six, is that his birth afforded us wisdom to tackle the challenges of life. While he was with us, while he was treading this ground as we are doing today, he tackled so many challenges. He fed 5,000 people with five loaves of bread in the desert, desert where they cannot buy food. He fed 5,000 people. He healed so many. He did so many things. But because we are co heirs with him, he gave us wisdom to tackle the challenges of life. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, it says, But of him are you in Christ, who of God is made unto us wisdom, righteousness, and every other good thing. And lastly here, his birth gave us eternal life. The golden verse, John chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not what? Will not perish, but have what? Eternal life. I can go on and on and on, but because of the time limit. What am I trying to say? The miracle of his birth is very much evident in this dispensation. Those that witnessed his birth then, they saw a miracle. We that we are here now, we witness miracle on daily basis. And I pray that miracle will continue to attend unto you in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that is sent to us today. We thank you because your word is yea and amen. Father, Lord, as we look upon you, look unto you for one miracle or the other, you will not deny us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. 
as we sing from church in now six one four. My hope is built on nothingness. We are going to take tithes and all other offerings. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Give her of all good things. We thank you for the grace to bring before you this token of the abundance that you have given us. Father, Lord, we pray that you accept it and accept us in the name of Jesus. Lord, the grace to always bring before your altar, you will grant unto each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray that this shall not be the last for us in the land of the living, in the name of Jesus. Children of the living God, I declare unto your life that the joy of this season will forever tabernacle with you, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let our mothers please rise for their green card. Women's green card. Please, can you rise as we pray? Almighty God, we thank you for the life of our mothers in this church. 
we thank you for the way and manner you have been using them. Father, as they have come before you with this green card, Lord, we pray that you will receive and sanctify in the name of Jesus. As you are giving this unto the Lord, the Lord will bless you beyond measure in the mighty name of Jesus. And the Lord will fight your cause for you and smile on you on daily basis. In the name of God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. to invite our father, Prince Tola Shotinwa, for the mercy of God and grace upon his life and family, and as well as his family harvest band.
Almighty Father, King of Glory, our Father Maker, we thank you, we appreciate you for the life of our dear Father, your Son, the apple of your eyes. Thank you for your grace upon him. Thank you for your mercy that endureth forever. Thank you for the hands of healing that you bestowed upon him. Thank you for delivering him, O oh Lord. Father, that be exalted in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your love that we accorded him to be alive this day. Thank you for his entire household. Thank you for the sufficiency of your grace. Unto be the glory in the name of Jesus. Father, your son have come today to celebrate you, to rejoice before you, to adore you, and to elogize you. Daddy, accept the sons of me in the name of Jesus. As you have come today, we pray, God Almighty, we receive you and have mercy on you in the name of Jesus. The Lord will continue to rejoice with you and smile on you on daily basis in the name of Jesus. Amen. Baba, we pray for longevity of life. We pray for robust earth. The Lord will endow you in the mighty name of Jesus. Because this season that we are is a season of celebration, season of joy, season of good tidings. I pray concerning you and your entire family. God Almighty will locate you with joy. God will locate you with plain sadness in the name of Jesus. All around you will be joy galore in the name of Jesus. In this church, we know more over you. In your family, you know more over any one of your children in the name of Jesus. You and your wife will continue to live and enjoy the grace of God in the name of Jesus. As we have witnessed the end of this year, come next year, you will be alive to celebrate before God in the name of Jesus. As you are celebrating your family events today, you brought your family before God, and uh, you want to dedicate your family for next year, 2022. The Lord will sanctify you. The Lord will consecrate you. I place the mark of heaven upon you and your entire answer. The blood of Jesus will be sanctifying. The blood of Jesus will place upon your head in the name of Jesus. No evil will come near you. No calamity will cross your way in the name of Jesus. For as many of you that are here to rejoice with this family of God, your own time of joy will come in the name of Jesus. Everyone will celebrate with you. You will never have any cause to mourn in the name of Jesus. For the rest of this year, joy is your Lord. Victory is your Lord. And testimony is your Lord in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, ever-living God. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Thank 
Now we are going to invite Mr. and Mrs. Rafa Ejude for their Thanksgiving. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this your children because you have done something marvelous in their sight and they have come to rejoice in your presence. Father Lord, we pray that you accept them and their offering in the name of Jesus. You said in your word that he that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. And just as you have provided Eve to be a helpmate to Adam, your son here has taken a wife unto himself. Father, Lord, we pray that you will bless the union in the name of Jesus. I pray for you as a couple. Every fruit of marriage will accompany you on this journey in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. No third party will come between you in the name of Jesus. And I declare the goodness and favor upon you, even as you go in this journey. You will not lack in anything that is good in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. None of you will fall sick to disturb the other in the name of Jesus. In this race, I pray for strength. I pray that the good Lord in his mercy will take away everything that may bring sorrow to this union in the name of Jesus. May the Lord accept you and accept your offering in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Not just like you, you are a great 
For as many family that are ready for their family affairs should dance to the altar as the band will be leading us. <laughs> Say bad, please come forward. If you are with a bag, please come forward. Let us pray. Ever living Father, we thank you for this household that have come before you today. Just as you said in your word that each and every family should appear before you at least once every year. They have done your bidding today as we pray for the Olatunde family, the Adesola Ebenezi family, the Philip Adebiye family, the Dayoshola Arin family, the Okinla family, and the Ladigas. Father Lord, we pray for this household. We will continue to tabernacle with them in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, come next year, your place will not be vacant in the name of Jesus. 
I make each and every one of you points of contact to other members of your family. The goodness of God will be with them wherever they are. The mighty hand of God will be with them wherever they are. They shall continue to rest under the ring of the living God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May the Lord accept you and accept your offering. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Readers Thanksgiving, Readers Altar Service, End of the Year Thanksgiving. We want to appeal to the church to support our readers and our altar server as they have their end of the year Thanksgiving today. I want to appeal to the readers here to please move forward so that the church will see you and let us lift up our offering as we pray. The offering that we want to use to support the readers of our church and the other servers, let us lift it up as we pray. And as you are doing this, God Almighty will bless you and enrich you in the name of Jesus. Father Almighty, we thank you for your children in this church. Thank you for the way you have been helping them. Thank you for your grace upon their lives. Thank you for their job and all their endeavors. Father, as you are giving this to support the work of evangelism in the areas of leaders and altar server, Father, we pray that this offering that they brought, you will sanctify in the name of Jesus. From the prayers that they brought this, Lord, you will enrich back in the name of Jesus. And we honor you with this token. Father, honor them in return in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ever living God. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. So give us to all, please, help us to collect us as the band will lead us. So we want to beg of you, fathers and mothers, please be patient with us. We are going to collect every Thanksgiving offering for our Sunday school, children of Sunday school. Please let us support them. They will be coming forward. Then give us to we collect the offering on their behalf. Sunday school children for their Thanksgiving. Please dance forward, dance to the altar, and give us to we collect the offering on your behalf. Band.
your children, they have come before you to give thanks to your name, for sparing their lives, for making them bundles of joy to their parents. Father Lord, we pray that you accept them and their offerings in the name of Jesus. Amen. Children of the living God, I declare into your life the grace to do exploits. God will grant unto you in the name of Jesus. You will power above every enemy of your household in the name of Jesus. You will possess the gates of your enemies in the name of Jesus. I pray for you, among you we shall have governors, among you we shall have presidents, among you we shall have business tycoons. Your future is guaranteed in the Lord. I pray for you. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding will attend to you in your academics in the name of Jesus. And I pray for the teachers as well as you strive to nurture this one to the maturity of God. The good Lord will bless you. He will bless every good works of your hands in the name of Jesus. We pray for our parents as well. By no means shall we have any cause to weep over these ones. They will not constitute nuisance in our lives in the name of Jesus. I pray for you children as you are in all day now. The, God, the good Lord will protect you. He will guide you. No evil will befall you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The band.
thank you, God bless you. The next offering that we are going to take, but not now. When we are singing the withdrawing him, we are going to take that. Good of steward will help us to take that. Because there are a lot of people that used to visit the vicar and some other priests for help. And it is the duty of the church to attend to the needs of the people in the community. That's why we are taking this offering. So as the Lord has laid it upon your heart, when we are singing the withdraw hymn, please drop whatever that you want to use to us help this ministry. It's a ministry. So join us in this ministry to help the needy around us. And God will bless you in return in the name of Jesus. The Lord be with you. Please, as we are going, can you commit your ways into the hand of God? Can we speak to your father? Speak to your father as you are going to the ends of the world this week. Commit your ways into the end of your father. Let us begin to bring our prayers to our close. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and mind the knowledge and the love of God. And the blessing of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And, and the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Be among you and remain with you always. Before the withdrawing, the next item, if your faith carries you, you can shake people as you are celebrating them for this season. If your faith doesn't, then wave to the person. We wish you. So as you are singing this hymn, we are going to wave to people, celebrate Christmas with them. If your face carries you, you can shake. Let us please rise.
We are going to collect offering for the next privilege. Give us your place, help us. <laughs> 